Hey everybody, I'm Kasha, and welcome back to Sakura Spirit! We're here with Like an Echo Girl, and we're getting ready to get some... Get reading, what the... Get our reading on! <laughs> yeah, we're gonna read. <laughs> Picking up right where we left off, and there's about to be a lot of action. We just escaped from the cell, or more accurately, Takahiro did, and we're being escorted by two very, very lovely foxes. So, let us begin. Boom! Nope, here you oh, go. that's me. Thieves! Crafty flock foxy kleptomaniacs! I'll skin you alive! I think that's our cue to get out of here. And with that, the three of us darted out of the prison. You know, if you hadn't just escaped the prison, I st he probably would have. It probably would have been for the best. If they, he wouldn't have stolen, the, if they wouldn't have stolen the panties again, they would have never known that they were there. Yeah, but he would have been completely innocent because he would have been in the jail cell, and they would have known he wasn't the panty thief this time. And they were figuring out what to do with him. And they seemed to, you know, that village elder seemed to know a little bit of what was going on with him. And they were probably just going to let him out and try to help him anyway. So he was probably already for the best. The fact that he's escaping now with the fox girls is probably for the worst, unless of course they have more information than the village elder, which is entirely possible considering they have magic. I still think that it probably would have been better if he would have just told them, no, I can get there by myself and just stayed there. Yeah, maybe. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm glad to see the two sexy fox girls back. No complaints here. And that's pretty much what happened, according to the village elder. There's supposed to be a shrine somewhere in the forest. It must be the same one I visited before I got caught up in all this mess. Goodness, that's... God damn it. I hate having to do this voice every time. Gruff. It's so... She's way too pretty. You wanted to switch the voice? No. But it just... It... It hurts a little bit. Like, it's not, not my throat. My heart. <laughs> How do you know that it's really a she? Maybe she used to be a man. No, I'm okay. I'm okay with going on and pretending that that is a beautiful, beautiful fox girl. Goodness, that sounds like a terrible situation. I know that spirits such as Suyuri Su enjoy playing with people, but this seems a little cruel of her. Sound like you know her personally. Could have been a good idea to go- Oh, wait! I would speak with her myself, but we, uh, fox spirits are not allowed near the shrine. Huh? I thought the reason we never go to there is because you get all flustered whenever Suit Chan's around. What kind of flustered? Like, I'm curious. It's a lesbian relationship? Maybe. <laughs> Shut up, Maiko! Oh! Oh, Ooh, look at that. She, she's blessing. She is blushing. Blessing? Blushing? <laughs> she's blushing. Hmm, I didn't realize a penny thief could get embarrassed like that. But maybe you two could show me the way to the shrine? Somehow, the layout of this forest seems different from my world. It's probably because it's several thousand years ago, back when magic and shit existed. Or it's an entirely different world, so the fact that the forest is different wouldn't be surprising at all. Which pretty much meant that Arya's map was useless now. Well, yeah. You do not understand. There is more ways to the shrine... There is more to the ways of us spirits than meets the eye, Takakun. I will try to navigate you to the shrine, but if Suyuri does not want us there, we will simply not get there. Ooh, excuse me. The only places we can navigate to, to directly are our home and the village. How is that useful? I could use gate magic, but that takes a super long time to cast. And unless I concentrate really hard, it usually ends up taking us someplace, uh, not fun. So Maeko has the ability to summon a nether portal. I'm liking this girl more and more as time goes on. I really like her. I'm gonna go with, like, favorite character. So far, well, that and, what was the red-haired girl's name? Kuryumi? I think so. For your me, we're in your me. She's my favorite so far. I like them both. I feel like we need a scene with them together, and they could, you know, like kiss and shit. <laughs> I think I'll prefer to take the ground route, but thanks for the offer, my Echo Chan. Was it? I read that wrong. That's right. Sakurano. Sak Sakurano. Sakurano, my Echo. At your wait, service. Wait, that makes them have the same last name. Does that mean they're sisters? Poss? Well, they're both fox spirits. Maybe they're just related. That's right, Sakurano Mayeko at your service. Yay, my first human friend. Silly girl. 
these guys seem much more pleasant to be around than the others. I'm right? just saying. Like, I mean, the Kiryumi girl, the red-haired girl was pretty lovely. Even the village elder was pretty nice. Not that I doubt your navigation skills or anything, but, uh, didn't we cross this path a while ago? Oh, you're right. Why are we coming back here, Oni-sama? One. One sama I will smack a bitch! Huh? I thought you were leading the way. Wait, I think if we turn this way, cut through these trees here, we might... Ah! The girl seemingly disappeared out of sight as she stepped in between two tall trunks, the on only to be followed by a loud splash. It's a good thing dogs love water. She's not a dog. She's a fox, which is a type of dog. No. Yeah. Just because something is similar does not mean it's the same. No, it actually is. I had to really? look it up, but really? yeah. Really? Fox is a type of dog? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? That's why they can breed them and sell them as uh, pets now. You can domesticate anything with enough effort. It doesn't mean, mean that foxes have to be related to dogs. Anyway, we're going off on a tangent, and I'm sure everyone doesn't want to listen to us argue about whether or not a fox is a type of dog. The more you know! I ran towards the trees and looked down to see the girl, arms flailing wildly, neck deep in a slow-moving river. I'm sure she's in a lot of danger. <laughs> ah! Onesama! Onesama! Quick! Please, you have to help her! I'm begging you! I'll... I'll do whatever you want! Just please, save her! <laughs> help! It doesn't look that deep, you know. Don't tell me that your sister can't... See, he already assumed that they're sisters just based on their names. That could not even be true. They could be cousins. They could be mother and daughter. They're fox spirits. We don't know! She can't swim! Neither of us can! Yes, they have a weakness! I can use that to my advantage. To Go what? On. Drown them? Shh. It's just like, um... Koro-sensei Koro from Assassination Yeah, Club. but they're not swelling up to die! No, but he can't swim either. Please, Takahiro-sama! Please, rescue my sister! Okay, now that is the first time that we've established that they are actually sisters. Thank you for clearing th this up storyline. I guess I don't have a choice. You do. I mean, you could just let her drown, but why would you? Smiling weakly, I pulled off my jacket and dove into the river, the cold water sending shivers down on my spine as I swam toward Machiko, who, despite the lack of a strong current, was slowly disappearing under the water. I thought he said that it wasn't that deep. Can't you just stand up? Speak he up. I thought he said that it wasn't that deep. Couldn't he, she just stand up? Or? Yeah, but that wouldn't be, that wouldn't help the plot out. But he couldn't. If she was actually drowning, then why would it be ridiculous? But why'd he dive in if it's shallow? You can dive in shallow water. And He's get a concussion. Well, he's a judo star. He obviously knows, that, you know, I don't care. Urged on by the worried shouts of my Aiko, ah! I tried to reach the girl as quickly as possible. It took me a few strokes before I reached her, but by the time I had grabbed hold of her and pulled her out of the water, she had lost consciousness. She's not breathing! I felt my stomach drop. Dreadful thoughts of what might happen if I didn't do something began to fill my mind. But what in the world could I possibly do? CPR? I... I don't know what that is! She's not breathing! Help her! Please save her, Onesama! Please wake up! Okay, but I need to concentrate. Could you... Can you find something to dry her off with? R right Great. A mage without a revive spell. As if trying to steal my nerves and for what I need... What? Blah, blah, blah. Steal my nerves for what I was about to do, I muttered those words just before leaning in. All I could remember from my first aid training was the patient had to be in a so-called recovery position, and then I had to blow air into their mouth and pushed down on their chest. My heart pounded faster and faster as I looked down at the fox girl. I could feel my cheeks heating up as a blush spread across my face. Clumsily, I put her into what I hoped was the right position, and slowly I lowered myself towards her face. My lips parted. Now, probably gonna be getting into some X-rated material here. We're gonna put a warning just in case. I'm not gonna put a warning. You probably I'm, should. I'm just, I'm saying. I don't know what's about to happen. Oh, baby. Ooh. Fortunately, that's not, you know, X-rated enough that I have to censor it. Yay! <laughs> Editing <laughs> Jacob doesn't have to do work. I love <clears throat> those leggings. Well, you know what? She seems to be completely conscious. 
<clears throat> if you were this desperate for a kiss, you could have just asked. I know I am a beautiful, exquisite, exquisite creature, but pushing me into a river so you can play a hero is a bit too much, Takakun. It's not like that. I went in to save you. Oh ho! Why, thank you, oh valiant hero, for the rescue. I must admit, I'm not the greatest swimmer. But you know, it is often better to get my get permission from the maiden you've rescued before you claim them as your reward, silly. I, I didn't have a choice. I either claimed your lips or death would claim you instead. And a bold choice that was. Where is my Aiko? I hope she didn't try to save me first. She is even worse at swimming than I am. I will gladly rescue her and see her and give her CPR as well. She's fine. She should be heading back here right now. Hmm, in that case, I believe we have enough time. So how about it, Takakun? My little sister will be back in a few minutes. <laughs> um. Who knows what awaits us around the next bend. And I am sure a boy like you would... <laughs> I, oh, God. I'm sure a boy like you... I've probably never kissed a girl before. Well, thank you, Machiko. So how about it? Want to claim this maiden's lips? Did she wake up before he kissed her or after? It's kind of... I'm guessing that it was probably after since she wasn't breathing. But I already claimed her lips. Don't make me toss you back into the river. Cool you off, horny fox girl. Oh, such a shame too. I was looking forward to finding out just how sweet your lips tasted. So, here's my deduction. She either woke up after he performed CPR, but was still aware of the fact that it happened, but doesn't remember how he tastes. Quote, unquote. Or... He didn't actually get to, and then she woke up anyway. Either way... Either I'm, way. I'm not really... I'm a little confused as to what exactly happened. <laughs> See, right there, like... Yeah, I, no, you're probably it, right. I'm not thinking that he actually did manage to kiss her. I'm not sure I want to find out what a wet fox tastes like. I, I'd like to know. Oh, hot damn. <laughs> Good lord, and I have to say this in a gruff, like, oh. Oh, I assure you, I taste a lot better when I'm wet. It just sounds so wrong. It sounds so wrong. For some reason, I don't think we're talking about the same thing anymore. I felt my cheeks flushing up slightly as m at Machiko's teasing words, and I awkwardly scratched my cheek. Anyway, at this rate, you're going to catch a cold. Then perhaps you should warm me up, Takakun. And this is like the first dirty scene, too. You need to read some fucking lines. I'm sick of this shit. I've been doing this for four episodes now. More importantly, we need to get you out of those soggy clothes. Well then. Oh my, Takakun, so bold. Please, won't you unbutton my top for me? What's there to unbutton? I don't know. I'm not seeing any buttons. Her collar, if, maybe? If you insist. My fingers shook as I reached down to the laces of her bodice. I was blushing brightly and my head was spinning as I felt my fingers touch the cloth. Before I could continue any further, I heard a whoosh behind me and felt something heavy impact against my body. My body toppled forwards and I felt a nasty blow to the back of the head. Onesama! I brought the- Oh no, Takahiro! I could barely focus as the blonde girl began to fuss over me, but it was no good. Between running my butt off all day, the soon dear tyrant, and the following rescue, and the now blow to the head, I felt myself slip into unconsciousness. Well, probably a good idea to go ahead and end it before anything else happens. After that, very, very sexy scene of saving Machiko. Not exactly what I expected. Uh, I wasn't sure. I don't remember how far this game's gonna end up going. But regardless, that's gonna be it for this episode. If you liked, feel free to like, favorite, share, subscribe, and so on and so forth. And if you want to see this game, more of this game, or more of other games that I've done, I've got them on my channel. So with all that being said, I'm Kasha. I'm like an Echo Girl. And so, so we, we go. Can. That is my line! <laughs> Yeah, I bet niggas be sleeping on me, been laying low, cutting.
touch the Reaper on me from 12, 12 skinnies. Whole block hungry. The streets of Philly, man, I gotta keep my heater on me. Lost souls, fuck hoes and leave them lonely. Rose gold, try and get my pockets light fresh. Them lames ain't know that I was next. I do this shit for life and beyond.